Good afternoon, Two Gen Beauties, and welcome to the Two Gen Beauty and Lifestyle channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unbagging of my April Ipsy bag, and I've already opened it. You know, I'm just doing this for show. But I love their pink packaging; it's so cute. Whenever I come home and I see this in the mailbox, I'm like, "Yay, I got my Ipsy bag!" Or if I see the little pink box, I know I got something from Petit Bourg. So this is the bag. Very cute, very folky. The theme for this month is Bohemian Beauty. I like it. I've read some negative comments on the bag, but I really, really like it. I, To me, it's a little bit bigger than some of their average bags, and I feel like I could fit a little bit more into this, and I feel like it just matches overall more of like what I carry, so I'll get more use out of it. And then here is the card with Ipsy stylist Kristen Dominique on the cover, or on the front of the card, and on the back, it actually gives you some information on how to win a Ipsy bag for a year, and then on the bottom, it also gives us information on how to connect with um, Kristen Dominique on social media. And can we look at her makeup? I love, I love this theme, beautifully bohemian. And then when I saw, I, you know, I snuck a peek at my glam bag online, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like everything that I got, but I really have liked everything that I got this month. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a nail polish, a nail polish, excuse me, from Julie G, and this is from Jessie's Girl Cosmetics, and this is in the color Damsel, and it's just a cream pink. I'm sorry, I'm getting some glare from my window. I'm actually wearing it. It's just a cream mid-tone pink. Actually, it reminds me of the Ipsy bag a little bit. Um, this is one coat. All I did was put a base coat, and then I put one coat of the polish, and I, it's a pretty color. I could see this being a really popular color for the spring, so that's great. And that also came with a coupon for a dollar off of any Jessie's Girl or Julie G product at Rite Aid. Or um, I'm wondering if you can use it on their website, but I'm not quite sure. So that's kind of cool. The next thing in here is the mini nude eyeshadow from the Bomb Cosmetics. And it's from their new palette called Nude Dude, which I have um, the Nuditude palette. And this is the Nude Dude. This is a new palette. And I have it in the shade, so cute. Flirty. I don't know if you can see it. It is, you can see all the, the actual shades in the palette right there. And this one, it's a really pretty color. It's just, um, let's see if I can swatch it on here for you. So this is, it's kind of like a taupey, um, has some peach iridescence to it. So I can tell you it's not super pigmented, but it is a great nude color. I'm wearing it more so like just on the eyelid to kind of brighten it up. I don't know if you can even get a glimpse of it. It's a really pretty color. I can see it again using, um, being, being like the type of color that I would use a little bit more often. Um, it's really, really cute. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 12 colors in the Nude Dude palette. Really cute. That's yeah, adorbs. Then I have, I have not tried this. So this is the Theory Argon Oil Ultimate Reform Hair Serum. Um, doo -doo -doo. Apply to the ends of damp or dry hair, dispersing lightly. Style, shine, reform. Pro tip, add a few drops to any Theory conditioner for optimal effects. So I'm assuming you could probably just put that on any um, conditioner. It smells really good. This is the bottle. I will definitely be giving this a uh, try next time I shower. Or not next time I shower, I'm sorry. I shower every day. But the next time I wash my hair, because I don't wash my hair every day. But it's coming up. I'll probably wash it tomorrow because I dry shampooed it yesterday. So one more night and then tomorrow morning it'll get washed. Then the next item on here is the Sophisticated and Sensual Perfume. That's literally all that is on the bottle. This is a pretty nice 
size in terms of like a perfume sample. I have not tried it. it smells very fresh, uh, very florally. It's nice. It has a little roller ball, so I like that. It smells really good. I like it. I don't know a whole lot about this brand. All it says on here is sophisticated and sensual. Oh, okay, hold on. Aroma Aromacology. Shh. Sorry, those are my dogs playing with a ball. Are you guys still playing with the ball? Don't mind them. And the last item on here is the Mali Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner. So it's just a pencil liner, nothing dramatic. Um, and it is in the color Shimmering Black. I'm not going to swatch it because it, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll, okay, fine, I'll just swatch it. And it's very, very creamy. It's just a black eyeliner, except it has just the minutest amount of shimmer to it. But it's a black eyeliner, so I'm not a huge fan of pencil eyeliners, but this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, so I may actually use it, plus it's waterproof. Um, and I have another one of her uh, pencil eyeliners. I think it's just in plain black, though. So we'll use it. So that is everything in my Ipsy bag. I am very happy with April. I know everybody kind of wanted the, the Too Faced melted um, the little lip thing, but... I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what I got. And just leave me some comments below on what you received and what you're liking. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay beautiful. Bye-bye.